This video app review is brought to you by the iPhoneAppReview.com. What's up, everybody? This is Luke Patrick with the iPhoneAppReview.com. We're slinging out yet another video review today. This time, taking a look at an application called Energy Storm, uh, which we have on our dashboard right there, ready to go. And uh, just to give a brief introduction, this game is very much a classic arcade shoot 'em up with a top down emphasis. If you're into arcade games, all that techno jargon will make sense. If you're not, you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So with that out of the way, there's nothing else I really need to say in the front end, so we're going to go ahead and just jump straight into this. It does come with a soundtrack, which uh, I don't really much favor at this point because it makes it hard to hear me. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now you can hear me a little bit better, can't you? So the application comes with a couple different methods for your arcade people. You already know what's going on, but uh, for everyone else, you'll figure this out in just a second when I start playing the game. It's got an easy and hard game uh, difficulty level. There's another one attached that's locked. Likewise, there are two different game mechanics to control. You can do this, which is sort of a joystick uh, kind of mechanic in which the ship sort of moves around like this. Or you can do this responsive touch where you simply touch the, uh, the ship itself and then drag it around, which is the one that we tended to prefer. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. This does come, by the way, with uh, scores. So that means game center integration, which means leaderboards, which also means achievements, quite a few of them. So if you're into that sort of arcade gaming uh, style of stuff, like we really, really are, then you're going to find that to be quite a boon for everyone else. It's probably just a slight perk. We should mention uh, as well that this application is free in the App Store. There's a reason for that. The reason being that you get a single ship to start off with, which that is not it. Um, this is it, actually, the, uh, I, I forget which one this one's called, Viper Ship, that you get to play with. You do get a couple different, uh, you know, levels to play through as well, and then you can unlock the other two ships uh, via in-app purchase. So if you really, really want to do that, you can. You can also try them out, and it just kind of gives you an example of how they work. They each have different shooting mechanics, and they really add a lot to the gameplay when you purchase them. So if that's something that you want to pursue, you can, in fact, do that. I'm just going to go ahead and pick one of these levels. Uh, this one looks good. Nice opening animation. We're going to go ahead and skip that. And now we're thrown directly into the game itself. So as you can see, I'm uh, controlling the ship simply by holding my finger on it and moving it around. Do we like this game mechanic? To be honest, not really, because it makes it really hard to see what's going on. As you can see, I'm having some difficulty keeping up with like what's behind me or what's around me. You do get continues, by the way, which is a nice touch. Uh, you don't have to worry really much about gaming over. It's more about the scores, uh, which is a nice twist, because we really enjoy that sort of arcade gaming style. But like we were saying, it's really hard to see what's going on, and I keep dying a lot, mostly because my thumb is in the way. So we hope future updates will actually sort this out because, you know, the game really is quite a lot of fun as you're going along blasting as many enemies as you possibly can, picking up power-ups, uh, getting, uh, you know, scores collected, things like that. You know, it's really a lot of really solid arcade gaming fun. It's just hard to see what's going on. The other game mechanic, the uh, sort of joystick mode, isn't much better because when you slide it around, the uh, ship has a tendency to sort of lag and sort of do like this which makes it very easy to inadvertently slam into other objects, other ships, other, you know, just, uh, just things floating around, which is a bit of a cramp on our gaming style. So we really hope that future updates fix this, because as we mentioned, we really do enjoy the game. We especially like the variation in ships. We think this is a great way to, uh, you know, do the gameplay. We think that's excellent. We just wish that, uh, you know, it was a little bit easier to control because the graphics are stupendous. They're so old and arcadey and, uh, you know, very good for us sort of people who like to, you know, have some nostalgia about the golden days of arcade gaming. Um, days spent feeding quarters into uh, machines, so we really enjoyed that. It's just hard to see. But aside from that, extremely solid gaming, very, very fun, and uh, something that we would easily recommend to anyone who's into the genre. So with all of that in mind, we are going to give it a 4 out of 5 star rating from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. Excuse me, a, a 3.5 out of 5 star rating, not a 4. A 3.5 mostly, like we said, because of the control issues, but uh, again, a 3.5 out of 5 from us here at the iPhoneAppReview.com. And at this point, that's pretty much all I have to say about it. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. We'll see you guys later. Bye.